as you're now walking through a new pathway in life where that is concerned as you transition from your month of January, your first month of um, the year of 2020 where that is concerned into February where that is concerned, a month of love, a month of self-care where that is concerned, a month of relaxation, a month of quite possibly moving into the depth and breadth of your heart space and re-loving yourself where that is concerned. So what is transpiring for many as they move out of quite possibly a turbulent month of, of January where that is concerned into all the new where that is concerned, much new New where there's concern, uh, an, an inordinate amount of new in their life where there's concern. There have been shift and changes for many where there's concern. Many shift and changes on many levels where there's concern. On the emotional level, the physical level, and the mental level where there's concern. And the spiritual level where there's concern. And the etheric level where there's concern. So many are going through drastic changes in their lives where there's concern that is bringing them more back to a, a centered place of self where there's concern. A more celebrated sense of self where there's concern a more empowerment aspect of self where that is, that is concerned, a more powerful sense of self where that is concerned. So as you move into your month of February where that is concerned, a transition month where that is concerned, it is about now moving deeper within to the depth and breadth of your heart space to fully now emerge into March where that is concerned in the full beingness of who you are. Many are beginning to fully realize who they are. Many are opening their heart space to receive love more deeply where that is concerned. And that is what your month of February is about where that is concerned. A month of love. A month of loving others. A month of loving the self. And a month of celebrating the self where that is concerned. So as you now move from aspects of your month of January into the month of February where that is concerned. It's about opening your heart space to begin to fully receive love. It is about releasing judgment and shame. It is about moving into a, a, a greater month of self-care where that is concerned, if that is needed from many where that is concerned. So what is transpiring is many are now beginning to unwind in many ways in your month of February where that is concerned, letting go of the attachments of the third dimensional realm where that is concerned. What is most important now, dear ones, as you move through a year of 2020 is releasing your attachments to the third dimensional realm where that is concerned in a greater way. We have mentioned this to you many, many times before, but what is most important now as you're moving through uh, your year of 2020 is about now fully detaching from the third dimensional realm. And in many ways you could do that in your month of February where that is concerned. Detach from the third dimensional realm and look at your attachments that are still in place to the third dimensional realm where that is concerned that cause upheaval in your mental body, your spiritual body, your emotional body, and your physical body where that is concerned that perpetuates the illusion where that is concerned. Because as you look outside of yourself in the third dimensional realm of what is transpiring, you're being in many ways uh, in your vernacular, in your dramatic vernacular, bombarded with an inordinate amount of energy coming from outside sources where that is concerned that really, in many ways, dear ones, does not serve your highest good where that is concerned. And that is why it is important now to begin, if you so choose, releasing attachments to the third dimensional realm and detaching from the third dimensional realm. Looking at what is important, it was no important in the grand scheme of your life where that is concerned, in the contest of living your life where that is concerned, releasing surviving life, raising your resonance and vibration to live life where that is concerned and enjoy life where that is concerned, thus moving into a greater sense of your soul purpose where that is concerned. It is a month, dear ones, of shedding the ego mask. It is a month, dear ones, of cracking the ego mask. It is a month moving from behind the veil where that is concerned and fully, as we have said to you many, many times before, dear ones, laying your cards on the table face up to those outside of you. It is about releasing self-judgment where that is concerned. It's about looking at yourself and seeing where you continually judge and shame yourself where that is concerned. But as you move through your month of February, it is most important now, if, dear ones, if you so choose, detaching from the third dimension realm. Detaching what invades the temple of your body, detaching from what invades the temple of your body. What we mean by that, dear ones, is always looking at what raises your resonance and lowers your resonance where that is concerned. Looking at your addictions to the third dimensional realm outside of yourself. Looking at your addictions for the need to be loved. Looking at your addictions to the third dimensional realm and now seeing these addictions where that is concerned that most likely no longer serve you where that is concerned. So you could look at your month of February as a month of detaching from the third dimensional realm, a month of detachment 
to move deeper within, to move deeper into, into the soul space where that is concerned. Look at what is transpiring with you mentally, physically, emotionally, and spiritually where that is concerned. And see what is raising your resonance. See what is lowering your resonance. And also see, dear ones, those for whom care for you where that is concerned. Those for whom honor and value you where that is concerned. See those who are moving into a greater depth of connection with you where that is concerned. Seeing that as you open your heart space and release the veil, crack the mask, move from behind the armor, you are still loved and still alive where that is concerned. So in many ways, as you move from your month of January into your month of February, it is about detaching from the third dimensional realm where that is concerned. Moving into the silence of life where that is concerned. Opening up your heart space to connect with your heart space in the silence of life. Seeing the powerfulness of quietness. Seeing the powerfulness of silence where that is concerned. Where you now can observe yourself in an entire diff- different way without the distractions of life around you. That is what is most important, dear ones. What is transpiring in the third dimensional realm outside of you in your governmental systems and your corporate systems where that is concerned are distractions. Distractions that create an illusion that distracts Distract yourself from yourself where that is concerned. And if, in fact, you are on the road to self-mastery, self-empowerment, self-love, it is about releasing those distractions. The distractions of the third dimensional realm and the illusions of the third dimensional realm outside of you where that is concerned. So it's about looking at those distractions. What is distracting you, dear ones, from you? What are you utilizing? What are the old habits, patterns, rituals, and behaviors that you use to distract yourself from yourself? It is most important, dear ones, to see what is transpiring in the third dimensional realm is simply a distraction from you. Mm-hmm.